My experience in Hong Kong, going back quite a few years now, if anyone walked up to Wong Sifu's club, uh, for training, they warm up, they do some form, uh, practice some punching on the wall bag, and then you just find that the closest victim to, to do this, <laughs> Chi Sa with, right? Um, and Chi Sa is the main mode in which they would practice their technique. The way um, it all comes together in Wing Chun, the tenets of you know keeping it simple, direct, efficient. Those tenets apply to the way you practice, you apply, and you teach Wing Chun. A simple way to cover a whole lot of things. Or if we're teaching someone new, we'll get it started with some single hand chi so in, this, in this case, we've got hand style position, foot style position. So forward, covers the best foot style, and he strikes forward, and they go to a bong style. So basically, in this, just putting in just this little sequence here, the main basics that we need. So then being ta, bong, fuk sol, striking down the center. And also maintaining our stance. Just run through this again. So what we're trying to do is just trying to develop some forward energy at each time. So Matt's dropping his elbow every time they attack, and then he comes forward. So we sort of cooperate and allow each other to practice technique. So my first movement, Allows him to practice his elbow position to the side. And then the second movement, he starts to press forward and I roll back and I practice my bong side position. So these shapes then transfer over to double hand into a chi, and chi side, and then further on into gore side. And they become our bread and butter techniques of our Wing Chun. Alright, so basically we try and get a nice forward action zone. One to the other. One, two. One, two. We're trying to get a nice forward action to the point where um, everything is nice and smooth. We're transitioning from one technique to the other. The most important thing to do is not to practice to the point where you're getting any sort of pain in your shoulders or arms. It's just trying to maintain the stance and to keep rolling. We virtually do this every training session. All right, switch it over. So go this side. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Change. So time for this side. One, two. We change roles, that way you get to ch practice each technique. Okay, and then the next progression is to, to work to double hand. So the double hand is basically doing the single hand chi on both sides of our body. We want to do it all together, two techniques at once. At the same time, we're trying to cultivate some sort of forward energy going forward. So as we're rolling, we're both meeting each other and just causing a equilibrium, cancelling each other out. But at any time, if I was to let go, Matt should be able to come forward. Hands come forward. So there's a void, he just takes the void. Okay, same. We're rolling, he lets go. I take the void, I go forward. So during the course of the rolling, we're actually creating a spring loaded. Uh, effect, but we're meeting each other, so we're cancelling each other out and just meeting each other, allowing each other to roll. And that's basic chi style. And as we're rolling, we switch, keep changing sides. So, what's happening here is just, again, it's just an efficient way to practice all those techniques. So, instead of stepping away and practicing a hundred times on its own here, rolling a hundred times on its own here. Trying to practice some sort of fuk style combination, which is pretty hard to do on time, very simple and very short. Um, we're doing it with a, with a living, thinking partner that's going to have some sort of attributes of, of an opponent. He's, uh, you know, he's thinking, he's moving, he's pushing, shoving, he's going to be hitting. The next um, sort of level to that is to, to work into like a, some pre arranged basic techniques. And so I go forward. Boom, and I take, take the center each time, set this up. Again, and then the next progression of that is to work to cover that with a foot side. So it comes forward, and I hit straight away. So the whole idea is to try and uh, turn the force back onto our opponent. So we're not trying to block and then hit. So as this hit punch comes forward, I just take my foot side position, get a deflection, and get my own hitting. 
I go forward, and that covers again, and again. So you switch sides, same drill. Come forward, yeah. Three. Good. And come forward on this side. So this is like a, he knows what I'm doing, I know what he's doing. Now there's a series of techniques, left dart, um, tagging with a tartar, tagging forth from the foot side position. So eventually you just um, work it to like a gorsa situation, which is like an open drill. So I don't know when Matt's going to attack, he doesn't know where I'm going to attack. And we just basically just respond to each other's attacks and defences moving forward. So sometimes he's going to lose, sometimes I'm going to lose. And, and that becomes uh, our mode of uh, controlled sparring. The whole idea is to cut down the errors. So you're going to make mistakes because you're human. And it's going to happen and, and you're going to get hit. And in a real fight you will get hit. So it sort of brings all that into play as, as we're doing our chisa. Um, so by doing the gorsa, we start to learn to move efficiently and effectively. So every time he hits, he makes sure he makes it count. He might not get another opportunity. Yeah, so it basically covers the, the mode in which we learn our, and, and hone our skills. My experience in Hong Kong, going back quite a few years now, if anyone walked up to Wong Sifu's club, uh, for training, they warm up, they do some form, uh, practice some punching on the wall bag, and then you just find that the closest victim to, to do that. <laughs> Chisa with, right? Um, and Chisa is the main mode in which they would practice their technique. And everyone would practice at different, different levels according to their uh, capabilities and experience. Yeah, that's, that's the main method. It's very similar, like you know, if you're doing, uh, doing grappling, I mean, obviously, you spend a lot of time on the ground, on the mat, working with your partner, um, you know, various combinations, into guard, out of guard, mount, so forth. Chisa is a very similar type idea, in the sense that we we're trying to drill our techniques, hone our skills, and minimize our errors to the point where, you know, it's uh, as efficient as possible.